Yo, listen up, here's the story about a little guy that lives in a blue world. Hola, muy buenas a todos, bienvenidos una vez más. Estamos aquí, vamos a empezar el capítulo 4 del The de Walking Dead. Eh, me cago en la puta, no me acuerdo cuál era. Vale, es este. Vamos a hacer una copia, como siempre, porque no me fío de que se me, se me borre el juego o cualquier cosa. No vaya a ser que la caguemos. Y episodio 4, chicos, ya nos quedan dos. Uy, spoilers, la negra está viva. <risa> Es jode mucho porque en el otro, por ejemplo, en el tren se veía al, al niñato este que al final por culpa de él pasó lo que pasó. Y tío, sabía ya que se iba a vivir. O sea, eso jode mucho. No me gusta ese estilo, este, ese estilo de, de spoilers. Y por ejemplo, sale ahí Kenny. Claro, anteriormente en The Walking Dead. Están poniendo la música guay. What the fuck's the problem? No! Fai me cabré, pero pero vamos, eh. We'll figure out what to do with you. I was trying to protect all of us. Holy shit! She's stealing the RV. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow, y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Sí, pero se suicidó la madre también, que no sale aquí. A saber, ¿sabes? O sea, eso me dejó, me ha dejado muy loco. O sea, me esperaba muchas cosas, pero justamente eso no. O sea, no sé qué va a pasar en este capítulo, pero nos acercamos al final y se... la cosa está muy negra. Este capítulo pinta bien. El primero está... Bueno, te daría yo un 7. Más o menos. El segundo le daría un 10. De verdad, muy bueno. El tercero... Le daría, no sé... No lo he visto muy bueno. O sea, un poquito flojito. Le daría yo, pues, un 6,5. El primero me gustó más. Y este ya veremos. A ver qué tal. Eso sí, el juego en sí, lo de las decisiones y todo, a este juego le doy muy buena nota. O sea, para mí me está siendo uno de los juegos que mejor he jugado, o sea, que más he jugado, o sea, que más he jugado en mi vida. Uno de los mejores juegos que he jugado en mi vida, porque. No sé, episodio 4 en cada esquina. <risa> Hostia, tío, este está hecho mierda. Pero tanto daño se ha hecho en la pierna. Te está diciendo que si puedes tenerlo de nuevo. Claro, ¿y tú qué le vas a decir? No. Más tarde. Vale. Que claro, no vamos a decir. Está un poquito mal. Necesitas descansar. Todos lo necesitamos. Uy, neta. Tienes razón, descansemos. Yeah, you're right. Kenny, hold up. Kenny, God damn it, I said hold up. Omid needs to take a break. Let's give him a minute. We're almost at the river. Almost to the boats. Kenny, it won't hurt to stop for just one damn minute. What the hell? Y las campanas no se hacen solas. Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Hay alguien ahí. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. Dice, nah, It's automatic. On a timer. Es hora de irnos. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Hostia. Someone's up there. 
Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what the show. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who is this? Is that you up in the bell tower? Se supone que sí. What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? Dicen que no están ahí, porque claro, si no se escucharían las campanadas. It tolls for thee. Hostias, vale. Hay que irse, hay que moverse. Oh shit. Everybody, run! Ese tío va a morir. ¿Eh? ¿La deja sola? That's not all. I'll give me a fucking break. Wait, where the hell's Chuck? Where's the Chuck? No, Chuck, no, 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 Chuck, no. Shit, he's in trouble. Chuck, no. help him. No me jodas, Chuck. Chuck, no me jodas, no me jodas. Te lo digo en serio. There's no time. We gotta go now. Chuck, ¿qué no puedo morir? Gilipollas, te turno. Open the door. Ah, menos ya están gateando. You okay? Estás bien. Ah, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've got to get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Manera de entrar. Tienes que encontrar una forma... Hombre, ahí también hay... Vamos a probar aquí. Vamos a hablar una. No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise at least. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. Pero esto sí. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. ¿Qué estás contando? Y ahí arriba no hay una ventana abierta o algo así. Ahí, por para el perro. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> La verdad es que right, so ahí. Está bien pensado. where's the dog? <laughs> muerto. El perro está muerto. O sea, vamos a ver primero la fuente esta. 
Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. Damn, pinta de que ha muerto. Looks like something was buried here. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Que está aquí enterrado, tío. Looks like something was buried here. El perro. Que vamos a pedirle la pala a Mark. ¿Dónde está Mark? Some way to get in here. Of the same mark. Ah, I can't even pull it. The shovel is never not useful. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Mi sueño es cavar. Ay, pobre. ¿Quién es atrás? Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Obi, okay? But I want to. Just do what I say, okay? Oh God, the smell. Vamos a quitárselo. Está muerto, tío. Está pudrido. No creo que se despierte como zombie. Ok, eso no es cool. No habrá mordido, ¿no? Yo no había visto que la mordiera ni nada. Radio control. Here goes nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. Aha! Dios santo, vuelvo aquí. Está bien. Clem, God damn it! Get back here, Clementine. Good work, Clem. But don't go shooting off like that without asking first, okay? I was just trying to help. I know, and you did good. You just had me worried there for a minute. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. La casa parece guay. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. Pues tenemos casita, vale. En sabana con una casa. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. Feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. Pasa algo, está como preocupado. So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was going to tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. 
Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that, and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make yeah, anymore? Nice. In nice. case you haven't yeah, noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever that was on the radio, I think they were trying to help us. They did warn us, didn't they? Maybe you're right. But whoever it was, they're watching us, following us, and they don't want us to know who they are. I can't think of any explanation for that that would make me feel better. Can you? Okay, I'll cut tech. No! Look, why don't we just stay here a little longer? Omid needs rest, and we need to wait for the walkers outside to thin out. Suit yourselves, and I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. El joven este tiene que morir de una forma asquerosa, te lo juro, eh. Este cogió un odio. Thanks, I got it. Hang out with Chris and Omid until I get back, okay? Lee, I'm sorry. What for? Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown-ups, okay? Okay. Ahora qué pasa? Que hay que hacer? Y Chuck, ¿qué? De verdad, deberíamos ir por Chuck. I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. Coño. Esa es la puerta de la entrada. Eh, si te he clicado. Ahora han cortado el agua, ¿no? No, sí. Water's off. Eh, el frigorífico estará todo podrido. My dogs, Walter. Tenía, el perro se llama Walter. Vamos a ver qué por aquí. Un reloj que me da igual ver qué hora es. Más alcohol. Joder, tío, pero aquí son todos unos borrachos. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. Sí, ¿no? Mm -mm -mm. Lol. Ah, vale, están aquí todos. Ahora con estas. Hey, guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far so good. How's that couch treating you, Omi? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I feel you. What do you guys think about this plan at Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Yo creo que va a estar bien. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Te va a pasar por mucha mierda como para que muera, en serio. No, no creo que, que muera. Si, si muere va a ser muy épico. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe. Ojalá. Ojalá. Pero con toda la mierda que pasa, a ver. Thanks, Lee. A ver, no están cabreados. Vale. ¿Se puede abrir esto? Un armario de mierda. Pues 
Pues se ha pegado un susto la hostia, eh. Vamos para arriba. Kenny y Ben have the second floor covered. I should finish checking down here. Pues si no hay nada más. Aquí no hay nada. Esto ya lo había hecho. El reloj, vamos a verlo. Porque si no. Must have stopped working a while ago. Una nota. Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Bueno, no sé para qué quieren una mesa bastante grande, unos saqueadores, pero bueno. Y aquí hay un retrato de la familia. ¿Eso es Jesús? Not exactly my style. Ahí una puerta. Ay, el perro de té. Tío, estoy preocupado por Chuck, en serio, eh. Abre. Otro armario. All clear in here. Esta planta segura. Just one more to check. 